Hello everyone. So I just wanted to take a minute to go through the updated schedule with you for the rest of the semester. Um, I'm sure by now you've all probably gotten the announcement that I posted on Georgia View that there is an updated schedule. All you need to do is go to the syllabus folder, click on it, and you'll find it in there. So today is Monday, March 23rd, and by order of the University System of Georgia, we're closed for this week. So effectively, I guess you've got a two-week spring break, but I know it probably doesn't feel much like a spring break because everybody's having to more or less shelter in place. Uh, it's the right thing to do. It's the safe thing to do. Um, make sure you don't expose yourself or uh, anyone else to, um, to this virus, to COVID-19. Okay, so this week, um, no classes, um, no work to do unless you um, you want to start working on on something for next week but you don't have to um, next week starting on on monday um, monday the 30th uh, we'll be doing transformations so chapter nine so what i'd like you to do is is read chapter nine and then on april 1st if you if you haven't done it on um on march 30th or 31st, then by, by April 1st at some point, I'd like you to try to get on the discussion board to talk a little bit about the discussion questions for Chapter 9. Effectively, what I'm trying to do is continue um, to the extent possible what we were doing in class, where we would come in and we'd talk about the, the chapters. Um, now, I know it's, it's not quite the same with the discussion board online, but I think, I think we, can, we can do a lot with discussion boards. So uh, I'm not going to mandate that you participate in the discussion boards like a certain number of times or anything like that. It's not like I'm going to count and then base your grade on it. Um, but it will just be, I mean, consider it part of class participation to uh, to go on the discussion boards. So your first discussion board postings, you know, try to do them by, by April 1st. So between Monday and Wednesday of next week. Then on uh, Friday, test two will be due by, um, by midnight. Now, I would say if, uh, if you're struggling with that a little bit, you know, I know it's a trying time for all of us. So if you're struggling with that a little bit, just let me know. And, you know, of course, I, I'll, I'll give you an extension if you need it. But, you know, try to do it by midnight on April 3rd if you can. The week after that, so week 14 now on your updated schedule, we'll be getting into language variation a little bit. And we'll, the first thing we'll do is read chapter 11. This will be no longer in the um, Klammer et al. book, but getting back to um, Curzon and Adams, right, to the original textbook. So you'll read chapter 11 on language variation, uh, and then, you know, make a, make a discussion board posting about it. Um, I'll, I'll continue to put up some discussion questions. You don't necessarily have to answer all the questions on, you know, the discussion board, but we're going to try to keep it going. Um, on the 8th, we've got an article by Dennis Preston. Then on the 10th, um, I'll ask you to, uh, to participate in a discussion board about that. So effectively, we're just going to be posting on the discussion board, and you can react to your, your partners, um, and uh, we'll try to make it as much like class as we can, considering it's, it's not, you know, we're not seeing each other face to face. Then week 15, we're going to talk about uh, William Lebov. You've got two articles by him to read. He's really, really good. Um, and I think you'll enjoy the articles. And I think you'll learn a lot, especially the article, The Logic of Non-Standard English, is going to be very useful for all of you as, um, as aspiring English teachers because it will, it will talk about some of the, um, the problems in, in the past that um, has confronted educators as they try to work with students of diverse um, uh, backgrounds, diverse linguistic backgrounds, uh, and to, to meet them where they are and, and to, uh, uh, to help them learn. So I think, I think this will be uh, a valuable article for you. Uh, then we have one more article that week, John Algio's The Origins of Southern American English. Uh, there'll be a discussion board for that. Then week 16, uh, I've actually got a film on there I'd like you to see. Uh, it's in three parts. But you can find it on YouTube. It's it's easy to find. It's called "Do You Speak American?" And um, I may put up a, a discussion board for that. I'll probably end up putting up a discussion board for that as well. Then we've got one final article. It's Edgar Schneider's article "Shakespeare in the Hollows: uh, Toward a History of Southern English." 
Uh, that's also a really good one. Then after that, we'll be getting toward the end of the semester and all you have to do is start preparing for your final exam. Um, because it's going to be a little difficult to do presentations, I'm going to give everybody the option, well I guess you had the option anyway, of doing either a presentation or a paper. Uh, if you were going to do a presentation and you'd like to switch it to a paper, that's no problem. I will, uh, I'll allow you to do that. Just You can, on the last day of class, upload your paper to the paper drop box. If you'd still like to do a presentation, what I would recommend you do is just make a recording of yourself. It can be something simple like this. Like right now, I'm just using my iPhone. I may, I may make other videos later. They may be a little better, but for today, I'm just, just using my iPhone. If you just have your iPhone and you have your computer set up and you kind of talk about the PowerPoint, that's fine. And then you can put it up on YouTube and um, send me a link to that. That'd be fine for a presentation. Or if you prefer a paper, that's great too. The final will be Friday, May 1st, due at midnight. The other thing I wanted to, to mention, and I mentioned this while we were still seeing each other in class, is I'm going to put up a Google Doc. It'll just be a shared doc for all of my classes, and what you'll be able to do is go on there and sign up if you'd like to meet with me virtually by Skype, or if, uh, if we can't if we can't get the Skype to work, I guess we could do something else like FaceTime or you could just call me on the phone. But if you have specific questions and you want to talk to me, because we're not meeting face to face, I want to make myself available virtually. So I'll go ahead and put that, that document up sometime later this week and then starting next week you can sign up for a time to meet with me. Otherwise, I, um, uh, yeah, I miss you guys. I'll, I'll miss actually seeing you and getting to talk face to face. But we'll do the best we can uh, in the new in environment that's kind of been forced on us by uh, by outside uh, pressures and by <laughs> disease. Uh, until then, stay safe, stay home, take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon.